Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, before we get on with things, I need to say thank you to Scarwo for becoming my first patron. Pa pa pat patreon, patron. Um, so, thank you very much, really appreciate that. Um, and here we are with part three. Uh, let's, do I need to talk to this guy? Do you know what, I'm not gonna. I don't think he's gonna teach us anything, so I'm not gonna. Uh, it's going to take us ages to go everything, over everything as it is, so yeah. Ooh, that was close, I tell you. Uh, hmm. Kimi tachi no jumpu wa mada mada dame dana. Okay. So tachi, as, as we may have seen, is a pluralizer. Kimi means you. It's kind of casual. Um, don't, don't say it to people. Um, in Japanese, if you know someone's name, you use the person's name. You don't say you like you like we do in English. Um, so avoid saying you if you can help it. If you don't know the person's name, then it's okay. But usually you'd use the person's uh, name if you know it. Um, anyway, so kim kimitachi not jump it. So the no here is like a possession. So it's uh, your guises jump and then a topic marker so you just bringing up the topic of the jump your guys is jump mada mada means like a long way to go until the goal that might even be verbatim what it says in the dictionary but it means like um yeah that's what it means um it's very lacking is 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 is, is what it means and then dumb it means kind of uh no good not acceptable against the rules um uh unsavable it sort of means all these different things but in this case obviously it means uh you know no good not it's it's no good it doesn't doesn't it's not good enough and then da na um da is just a declarative na is a bit of a rhetorical checking for agreement sort of noise it's a bit like ne this guy's gone for nah, for, uh, uh, for no special reason, I don't think. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks difficult. Nanny yo. So that's sort of like, I think she's, I think, I think she's saying like nanny, a bit like what? But then she's putting yo on the end because she's kind of maybe annoyed at the at the fact that a mole is 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 criticizing our ability to jump um so i think the yo is a bit like yeah a bit kind of just forceful nani yo uh mogura ni jumpu no koto nante wakaru wake um so mogura is a is a mole as we said and ni is like a preposition it kind of means like to a mole um yeah to a mole i think uh, uh jumpu no koto jumpu no koto it sort of means things i feel i feel like it's like things related to jumping um is kind of literal but yeah it's sort of like yeah things related to like the requirements of the ability of maybe that sort of thing or the things related to jumping to a mole um and then nante what does nante do nante expresses sort of kind of disbelief at the thing that came before it um or disbelief or disgust at what came before it um, and then wakaru means like to become clear or less literally to to understand to be understood uh, and then wake as we may have seen is like a, a logical conclusion or a reason so it's i think she's sort of saying she's kind of expressing disbelief or disgust at the fact that uh Requ you know, uh, requirements, things related to jumping would be understood by a mole. And I think the wake at the end makes it into a kind of a, 
um, do you mean, are you trying to say, are you trying to tell me, are you trying to imply that, that a mole would know anything about jumping? We're sort of getting into quite a non-literal translation there, but I think that's what Waka's doing at the end. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kimi yori wa shitteiru tsumori. Um, so again, we've got this than you sort of uh, thing going on. And then wa in this case, it's sort of very specifically bringing us up as a topic. So it's saying, I know more than you guys. So he's sort of kind of admitting that he might not know more than, uh, you know, an expert on jumping. Or he might not know more than... Uh, Oh, he's not even saying you guys, is he? I think he might be just talking to Kazooie? I'm not sure. But anyway, he's saying I know more than you, but not not necessarily anyone else. But he's very specifically saying that he knows more than us. Wa has a kind of a... Um, uh, what's the word? <clears throat> it has a kind of an excluding uh effect sometimes or rather it's, it's saying he knows more than us but not necessarily anyone else that's sort of the effect of wa sometimes um shite iru is the sort of present continuous of to know to know is shiru shite iru it makes it present continuous it's like to exist knowing um and then tsumori sort of tells you their their intent um tsumori <clears throat> it, 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 yeah it, their intent or their meaning so he yeah he's sort of saying that i believe or i intend or i or i mean to imply that i know more than you than you um, and then we've got a botan de jumpu suru toki. Toki is like time. So it's and it's used to mean like when you do something, or it can mean that. So a botan de jumpu suru toki. Um, I suppose we need to go over suru as well. Actually, suru means to do most often, um, and jump kind of on its own isn't a verb so to make it into a verb we have to add the do verb to it so jump suru makes it into a verb so now it's now it's the verb to jump um so what he's saying is uh at times i suppose or when uh you jump via the a button we've got to skip ahead a bit Oof. Okay. Nagaku oshite ireba sore dake takaku jumpu dekimasu. Um so here we have nagai which means long uh and we've changed it into a kind of an adverb form by changing the last e into a ku. So instead of nagai it's nagaku. And then osu is to press um and we're kind of using the present continuous here, oshite iru. But we've also made it into a conditional. Um, so it's nagaku oshite ireba. And that's kind of a, a conditional. Like, if you are in a state of pressing longly, <laughs> which is clunky, obviously. Sore dake. Um, and I think that kind of means like sore refers to sort of that much or, or that extent i think and dake well i think sore dake does that sore dake kind of means precisely that amount precisely that much uh, and then takai means high or tall and again we've made it into a an adverb takaku instead of takai and then jumpu Dekimas and dekiru is the potential form of suru. Um, so it's like be able to jump. 
precisely that highly um, if you are in a state of holding longly the jump button, which is obviously a horrific, horrific English. But um, yeah, that's sort of the function of those words in Japanese. That's how they work. Oh, OK. Cheers. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> uh, sa chicken chan. Oh, OK, sa chicken chan. OK, OK. So it's just... So I think now that we've shown what our jump is, now he's going like, right then, Chicken Chan. Um, obviously talking to Kazooie. Um, sono hane de otetsudai wo suru no desu. Okay. Sono hane, that's like those wings. Or maybe, maybe feathers. I think hane can mean both. Probably wings, right? Because she's going to... Help us with the wings, yeah. Sono hane de, so via those wings. O tetsudai. Uh, tetsudao is a verb meaning to help or to assist. Um, and so he's, for some reason, kind of gone a bit polite with it. I guess tetsudai, making it into the stem of the verb, can make verbs into nouns. And then I guess O sort of got added to the front as an honorific because maybe when you request help from someone, it's more polite to say O Tetsudai, maybe. And so he's opted to say O Tetsudai for some reason in this case. Not sure why, but there you go. O Tetsudai wo suru no desu. And we've got suru again, meaning to do, help, kind of. Uh, and this no des at the end can be used like a bit of a of a request or a bit of like an order or maybe a bit of like um, it is it is the act of helping with those wings maybe but that's obviously yeah a weird translation but basically having no des or no da at the end of a of a dictionary form verb it can mean uh, it can sort of become a bit of a request or an order or a kind of a, you know, do this sort of sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, doshite. Uh, doshite means, like, why. Basically, it means why. Um, yeah, it's sort of like how doing what how or having done how is sort of yeah so I, I, no that's that's a really bad way to explain it just it basically it just means just means why um, <clears throat> excuse me dolste um although i suppose it can mean how in a way but yeah anyway we'll go with why for now o manukena akushon wa iayo um manuke just means like idiot it's a bit like baka i believe or, or manuke it's like an idiot idiotic maybe kind of stupid looking so o manuke na it's a na adjective obviously so we need na to attach it to uh, a noun o manuke na akushon wa so bringing up the topic of sort of dumb looking actions or or silly moves or whatever or dumb moves and then ia is basically like it means like disagreeable disliked to it means like refuse or to not want to do so er just means like i suppose you, i don't know maybe like sod that kind of thing like sod idiotic moves or something but yeah er um uh uh yeah it just means like he does, she doesn't want to she doesn't want to do silly moves it's just like she hates silly dumb moves or whatever uh jump so this te form uh makes the sentence able to continue it can be used just to make like a list of actions so it's jump and in english you just say jump and then you'd say something else ku chu de meaning um ku meaning like i suppose ku means like the sky or it can mean a void or empty 
which I suppose the sky is, you know, in a way. The sky is kind of empty space. It's not, it's not literally from like a scientific view, obviously, but it's, you know, it's empty enough for it for this to apply in Japanese. But yeah, ku chu, chu means like in the middle of something or inside something or in the midst of something, even in a temporal sense. Um, so this just means uh, in the sky, ku chu, just in the sky. De marks a location where a verb can be done and then mo ichido that means do is like an occurrence one so one occurrence or one time and then mo means like when used with amounts like this it means like more so it's like one more time a botan wo osu to um press the a button and i like to think of this as um, it's kind of a conditional, this to, osu to. Um, and yeah, like I said, probably a good way to think of it is to just think of it as to meaning and. Press A and this will happen. But it's probably more like if you press A, this will happen in the Japanese. But yeah. Um, habataki jumpu desu. Uh, habataku is to flap one's wings. Um, or to, yeah, yeah, to, to, to flap one's wings, habataku. Um, so habataki kind of just makes it into a noun, like I said, and then jumpu. So it's like a, 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 a flap jump, I guess you could think of it as, or, or a glide jump or a, something like that. And then des again, just kind of a polite declarative, although don't think of this as the equivalent of da. Da and des are not entirely the same but um <clears throat> they do overlap a little bit uh yeah hey nice cheers what's going on oh what's he said oh i've got, I've got to do it first haven't I? ridiculous uh so uh saw i don't really get saw to be honest myself i feel like it's just like well then right now now though not now though, but yeah. Now then, well, so then, I did it. And that's what dekita is. That's the past tense. Um, dekita wa. Wa, again, just a feminine sounding ending. Um, don't say that if you don't want to sound feminine. Um, so it's sort of, you know, well, well, I did it kind of thing. Banjo saki ni susumi masho. Okay. So I think she's just talking to Banjo there. Banjo. And then saki ni means like <clears throat> beyond this point or straight ahead um, or beyond something or someone else um, so and then she's saying susumi masho and susumu, susumu is to proceed um, and she's kind of going for like a polite volitional form so it's a bit like uh, let's proceed ahead, Banjo. Um, Susumi Masho, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's kind of just saying, let's go ahead. Uh, tsugi wo masta shinai to mada dame desu. Okay. So tsugi means next, and masta, I guess, is just the same as in English, the verb master, to master something. Shinai to, um, that's negative of suru. Suru is like an exception verb. Um, it doesn't conjugate like other verbs like you like you might expect it to. So suru is normal dictionary form, and shinai is the negative form of that. Um, so it's a it's, it's a funny it's a funny verb. It conjugates oddly, but luckily there's only like three of those in Japanese. So. Um, yeah, you only need to learn three exception verbs and, you, and you're done, basically. But yeah, so again, we can think of this as and, but it's kind of a conditional. It's like next, uh, not master, and uh, mada is like still, and then dame, as we've said, is like no good, unacceptable, to be unsalvageable. Yeah, all those things. But mada dame, it's like um, you still will be no good. If, if you do not master the next part. Mazu konnafu ni. Mazu means like first. 
in a way it's like when you want to when you begin to say something or when you want to give instructions or whatever you might say mazu uh, just means first yeah but there are other ways to say first in an ordinal sense or a number sense which we'll we'll, we'll probably see um konna furni uh konna as we've said means like in this way or this to this much of an extent um yeah, this way is probably the most usual translation, probably. And then who is a, a, a way or style. So it means like this, in this kind of way. And then ni just is like a preposition. I feel like it's just kind of required on kon na fu ni. You just kind of need it. Uh, kon na fu. You wouldn't, you wouldn't just say kon na fu. You wouldn't do that. Kon na fu ni. And that means, and then you could you could put verbs after it, um, but that's just required. You can't omit ni, but it isn't really part of the word foo. But you can't omit it from this this sort of sentence. <laughs> so she's quoting him here. She's going kon na hu ni te, and that's what that's kind of. Uh, did we see toe before? I think we did see toe in part one, didn't we? Maybe even part two. But toe is the quote particle. Or can be the quote particle. And so it just quotes things and says what was said or what someone thought, like verbatim. Um, and this is kind of a slightly more casual thing. It's kind of got the same vibe in this case. Um, sonna... Dasai mekane toka. Oh my god. Oh no, she's like proper insulting him. Um so she's saying like I suppose you could see this as saying like by in this way. Um and then sonna is like that sort of, those sort of, to that much of an extent. But as I said, yeah, in this case it's um that sort of Dasai means really like uncool or lame. And then Megane is glasses. <laughs> so she's saying like, um, in this way, by in this way, you're saying, you know, that sort of lame glasses. And and Toka is kind of a non-exhaustive list of things, I think. So she's going to continue on with other things that are lame about him, I think. <laughs> What's he saying? New ball toshita, new ball toshita, kao to kawa, a tiny wa deki nai wa. Oh my god. Um, I don't actually know what new ball is, but um, there's quite a bit to go over here as it is. New ball. New ball. Oh, that's quite annoying. I don't really have any entries. New ball. Hmm. New ball. Oh, that's really annoying. There wasn't another... Another thing at the start, was there? I'm going to have to... I think I'll have to ask about that. New ball. But this can mean... Like, this is... Tolsta... And and tolsuru or tolsteru or sh well I won't, I'll take the toe off steru or sta can mean sort of like having the quality of or to to have to have acquired the quality of or to be made in a way as in a certain way or to consist of something in a certain way or to act in a certain way it's got loads of meanings suru. Um, and so nubo tolsta, it's kind of this is past tense of suru tolsta. And so this kind of means like the the cow, which is one's face, or he, talking specifically about his face. It's it's sort of it has the quality. It has fully kind of in the past acquired the quality of being nubo. <clears throat> um. Or it has a new bowl quality to it to the face. Um, I don't. I'm not entirely sure really why you need to use this. I guess this just isn't. This is just one of those types of adjectives, I guess, or or, or adverbs. <clears throat> like it's not a nut adjective, I guess. So you can't just say new ball nakao. 
and it's not an E adjective, so you can't say Nuboikal. I guess it's just another type of adjective that needs Tolsta on it. Um, but yeah, Kal Tokawa, so we've got that Toka again, just sort of saying about the um, non-exhaustive list of qualities that Bottles has that she's, that she's talking about. And then Wa, bringing up the topic of such features. Atai ni wa, tu ni, dekinai, I cannot do those things. I cannot, you know, I cannot have such lame glasses. I'm unable to, you know, copy your style, your lame style, is, is kind of what she's saying, yeah. <laughs> so he's saying, kikanakata koto ni shio, which is... Yeah, which is pretty good. Um, kiku is to hear. Kikanai is to not hear. That's the negative. So kikanai is negative. And then kikanakata is the past tense. So uh, to have not heard or not heard. And then koto is like a, a state, I guess, in this case, or a phenomenon. Has loads of meanings, koto, but... I, but but he's and then he's saying ni shio is the like volitional of suru so i feel like he's kind of saying uh, volitional can mean let's or it can also mean it can also sort of express one's um one's uh, what's the word for this i need to remember how i describe this One's kind of determination to do something or one's kind of one's how one's mind is kind of set. So he's sort of saying, like, I I have decided, I guess, or I'll I'll, I'll I've decided that not heard phenomenon too, which is a very literal, very literal. But he's basically saying I will I'll. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. I will act as if I did not hear that, is what he's saying. Much more natural translation, obviously, but yeah. Kikanakato koto ni shio. I will go with the phenomenon of not hearing that, not heard. Um, yeah. Or I will go with the state of not hearing that. Oh, yeah, but like I said, very naturally, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Um, and then Z do botan de, so via the Z button, shagan de. Shagamu is to crouch. Uh, yeah, it's still like to crouch down. So shagan de, making it te form, and then kara. And you can basically add kara to the te form, and it just means from crouching down via the Z button. <laughs> Uh, a button wo osu to. So, uh, yeah, press the A button and ton bogaeri jumpu des. Ton bogaeri jumpu des. So, tombo, I think, is like a mosquito. Oh, sorry, no, it's a dragonfly. Uh, and I don't know why, really. I guess they just have. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the Japanese, maybe they don't really even know, actually. Sometimes you don't really know why words are used in your own language, do you? Um, but tombo gaeri, I think, is just a, a somersault, yeah? Just a backflip. Tombo gaeri jump it. So a backflip jump des. Just kind of a declarative -y thing at the end. Have I got to do it now? Can I leave? Let me leave. Damn it. Uh, jump wa kore de zenbu desu. So, uh, the topic of jumps with this, like via this, having said this, zenbu means all, all parts. So that's all the jumps. Uh, lenshu is just practice. And then surun desu yo, as I said before, it's this sort of no desu or surun desu or surun da. Uh, makes it into a kind of a kind of an order or advice or telling you what to do. Hey, okay, nice. Uh, okay, need to backflip onto that. <clears throat> well, I think I was very enthusiastic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, 
So honey comet, yes. Uh, that's sort of unfortunate. Honey comet, honey come. But yeah, that means honeycomb. Honey comet is. Um, mutsu atsumeru to. Um, so mutsu, that's just six. Tsu is a general counter for things. So mutsu, you can say that about anything if there's six. Probably not people, actually. Probably inanimate objects. But it means you can avoid counters if you just go with the, the mutsu. Um, uh, atsumeru is to uh, gather. So yeah, gather six and and then we've got banjo no taiyoku ga hitotsu fuemas. So banjo's taiyoku. This is body power. Um, very common in games for body power taiyoku to be your your energy, your health. Um, yeah, taiyoku ga hitotsu one fuemas. Like to increase. Fueru is to increase. Um, and it's intransitive. Um, so it's just something that increases. You cannot increase something else with fueru. You have to say fuyas. But yeah. Fueru. Fuemas. Is he done? Okay, good. Yeah, I was hoping to get all of the moves done. But that's taken 30 minutes just to do the first one. So we ain't doing that. <laughs> Uh, mizu ni mo guru ho 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 naraitai desu ka? Okay. So mizu is water. Ni is just, uh, like I said, a pre the preposition in Japanese, I suppose. So into water. Moguru is to dive. Um, and ho ho is kind of the um, the way, the way of so the, the the method, I suppose, the method of diving into water. Narao is to learn. And with all verbs, uh, there's a desire form. For the go done verbs, of which narao is, you change the last hiragana into the e equivalent of the same line. So na da u. U is from the a line of hiragana. And so you change it to the E equivalent from that line, a i narai, and then you just add tai onto the end, and it means to want to do something, to have the desire to do something. And it's also treated as an E adjective. So it it's it's sort of no longer a verb once you do that. But it does translate best to do you want to? Do you want to learn? how the the method of diving into water uh but were you to say it kind of literally as the words are in japanese it would be like is it desirable to learn uh the method of diving into water and then he's saying desu at the end because it's a question <coughs> mm. so i think that's just him thinking uh, just a noise. Muzukashi is difficult. That means difficult. And then if you omit the E off the end of E adjectives, which has happened here, and change it into so, it basically means sounds or seems or looks difficult. Sounds difficult, seems difficult, looks difficult. And then dana. I should have mentioned earlier when we saw na. Na is usually when you're sort of kind of saying near to yourself you're just kind of saying it out loud um but i can't remember how bottle said it before it might not have been that way when bottle said it but yeah <clears throat> so yeah it's going to sound sounds difficult doesn't it kind of to himself i think and then kegawa mo nure chao shi um kegawa i think is all of his like his hair his fur He's talking about his fur. Kegawa mo. Uh, I don't know why he's saying mo, to be honest. Um, why is he saying mo? Well, mo is like the inclusive particle. So it's like my, my fur also. And then nureru is to get wet or to be wet. And this nure chao. That's another form of that undesirable thing that we saw uh, earlier when Tutti got kidnapped. 
Bottle said to us, um, Sarate Shimata, which was like to undesirably have sort of got, um, you know, uh, kidnapped. Uh, but so we could say Nurete Shimao, but Nure Chao is just shorter, probably more casual. Um, so he doesn't, Banjo doesn't want to get all his, all of his fur or whatever, whatever bears have hair, fur, whatever. He doesn't want to get that wet. Um, so he's saying that it's undesirable. And then she at the end sort of indicates that this is one reason among many that he doesn't really want to, or, or yeah, one reason among many. Basically, I don't know if it's one reason among many that it sounds difficult or if it's one reason among many that he doesn't want to learn. But the she that's what the she does. It's and, and most people, honestly, most people usually just give one reason with she at the end and the rest is all just implied. Um, enough has been communicated at that point anyway. So <laughs> OK, Okubion, Okubio ne banjo. Okubio is a wimp, basically. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it at that. It's just a wimp. Uh, ne, just saying like kind of rhetorically again, seek, seeking agreement like you're a, you're a coward, aren't you, banjo? And then atai, I, wa, topic marker, I, o yogi tai. So o yogu is swim. And again, we've got this desire form of that. Oyogu, we find the the e equivalent from that line. Oyogu, gu is from the ga line. Oyogagi, oyogi, oyogi tai. So I want to swim. And then wa, that sort of feminine ending. And then megane kun, uh, glasses boy. Hayaku oshiete. Hayai is quick. Uh, hayaku is adjectival that's not a word um, sorry adverbial makes it adverbi so quickly and then oshieru is to teach oshiete is a te form meaning a request so quickly teach quickly tell suridi stikku de sui men wo oyogi mizu ni moguru toki wa so all of that is just setting up the main point of the sentence i feel um so using the 3d stick sui men that's water surface wo o yogi so i guess that's a stem just allowing the sentence to continue on afterwards he could have said o yoi de he could have used the te form of the verb but he, he didn't that's the same meaning anyway i think it doesn't really matter o yogi so um, using the 3D stick, kind of swim on the water's surface. Mizu ni moguru toki wa. So at the time when dive into water or when you dive into water, uh, bringing up the topic of that time. Bi botan des. Um, so yeah, just sort of like... You know, it is the B button. Press the B button when you want to dive into the water. And then, sa, yuki wo dashite. Um, so now, basically, yuki. It's like brave mind, brave vibe, brave mood, I guess. So, so courage, essentially. Courage. And then, dasu is to present something or to get something out. Um... So yuki or dashite, I suppose, is to like get your courage out or show your courage um, less literally, you know, uh, be brave. But yeah. Oh, that was it. Oh, we might even get another one in there. If Kazooie doesn't keep joking around and trying to insult bottles, <laughs> then there might be fewer text boxes. Where's this... There it is. Oh, he's talking more. Oh, that was close. Um, sui chu de wa. Um, so as we saw before, ku chu was like among the air. And sui chu is among the water or in the water. De wa is bringing up the topic of, you know, being, being in the water and um, 
yeah, I guess der basically is marking that we're going to do a verb in the water. A botan uh, bata ashi. Bata ashi. Sorry, I thought I'd skip. I thought I didn't know if it was going to write more like hiragana out there, but it didn't. Bata ashi. I guess that's like just to kick your feet. Like ashi, ashi is feet or legs, isn't it? Um. So butter or butter butter is flapping, rattling, noisily, clattering. So flapping one's feet. Yeah, I guess it is butter ashi, just kicking one's feet um, to swim. And then bibotan kazui no hane. So kazui's wings um, is the B button. Oh, he's not done. Kazui no hane de, so using kazui's wings. Oyogu koto ga dekimasu. Um, so yeah, the sort of the act or the thing of swimming you can do, uh, can be done. Um, that's funny, oyogu koto ga dekimasu, because he could have just said oyoge mas, and that would be potential form of oyogu. But he wants to say oyogu koto ga dekimasu, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, aru botan wo tsukau to uh, sharp ni magaremas. Okay, so ar bo botan the R button tsukau to tsukau is use, so use the R button and uh, sharp ni, which I think is just like an adject, not adjective, an adverb. It's like sharply, and then magaru is to turn. To, to turn or go round corners to turn and he's gone with the potential form so we, we, we it would be magaru or magarimas but he wants to say that we can do it so he's saying magaremas um so yeah you can turn sharply uh if you use the r button very nice. Can I get one more? We're at 40 minutes. Um, which is ridiculous. Yeah, let's let's try. We'll get one more. We'll, we'll get half of the tutorial and then we'll get the other half next time. Oi! That's really annoying. Alright, let me edit back to this point because I need to read that. All right, here we go. Let's uh, save state it this time. <laughs> oh, it! Oh, but that could have been worse. Um. So yeah, koko de oshieru kuchibashi ataku wa. So <laughs> bringing up the topic of the kuchibashi ataku. Which is uh, kuchibashi is just a beak, I think. It's just just a beak, and then attack is attack. So the beak attack, ku, uh, kuchibashi attack, and then all of this information is modifying that. So it's saying the the beak attack, bringing up the topic of the beak attack, uh, which I will teach or shiru, I will teach, like at here, I will teach here. Obviously, de requiring being required to put a verb with a location. So yeah, uh, at this place, I teach the uh, beak attack. Wa the topic. Let's carry on. <clears throat> Kazui ga dai katsuyaku no akushon desu. So Kazui ga. So I guess Kazui. I don't know why that's ga there, really. It might just be... Yeah, I think it might just be there because wa has already kind of been used in the sentence, and so it would be weird to bring up another topic. Um, yeah, so we're talking about the attack. So now we're talking about who does the attack. And so I think we want to use ga here rather than wa. Kazui ga dai... Katsuyaku. Dai katsuyaku. I think this has been like extremely effective. Katsuyaku means to be kind of very productive and successful. Um, very lively in activity. 
and die is just the same as die Balkans die. It just means like greatly to a large extent, bigly. Um, but yeah, die Katsuyaku no action this. So it is an action of great effectiveness or whatever, or great use that Kazooie will use. <laughs> Sonna. O seji o itemo nani mo agenai wa yo. Sonna can just kind of mean like. It can just sort of express disapproval. It doesn't. Like literally, it just means like such words or such a thing or such an action or whatever. But people do just kind of trail off and don't say anything else. It's kind of become its own standalone phrase. Sonna. Because, well, the fact that there's a comma here means I think she's just saying sonna. And it's not really attached to the rest of it. Um, Oseji uh, is like, it's kind of like nice words, flattering words, I think. It's like to flatter someone. Oseji. Um, and then we've got it. Te, which is the te form of you, meaning to say. So to say such, you know, flattering words. And then mo at the end, it kind of makes it into an even if. Even if you say such flattering words. Nani mo means like nothing. Um, but it only, it, it, it only really means nothing if the thing after it is negative. I feel like with nani mo, dare mo, doko mo, uh, whatever, all of these mo words, mo particles with question words, they have to be negative. They have to have a negative verb or a negative point to them afterwards. Um, and yeah, when they do, it means, you know, nothing or no one or nowhere. So nani mo agenai. Ageru is to give. So nani mo agenai, it means I will not give you anything, even if you say such, you know, flattering words. And then yo, just sentence ending things. He's just ignored it. Okay. Z botan de shagan de kara b botan des. So via the Z button, uh, from crouching, from having crouched. B button this. It is the B button, or whatever. Yeah, however you want to translate that. Um, powerful na. That's just the word powerful, but written in katakana. Powerful na. Most English words that get put into katakana are become na adjectives. Um, but yeah, powerful na. Kuchi bashi ataku no kansei des. Um, kansei. I feel like it's completion complete completion perfection accomplishment it was probably that one then it's probably accomplishment i think there are quite a lot of words with the with the reading can say actually that's pretty crazy but yeah damn so yeah i think it's just saying like uh uh, so it's sort of saying um, crouching with the Z button and then pressing B. That is the powerful Kuchibashi attacks uh, accomplishment, or less literally, that is how to accomplish it. Okay, there we go, nice. Oh, he's talking more. Uh, hora banjo. Um, so hora is like... Um, Look. It means kind of look. Um, it, it, in the sense of like, look at what happened. Look what I meant. Wasn't I right? Um, or look for yourself. Um, yeah, see for yourself. But yeah, horror banjo. So it's sort of like, look banjo. Um, chicken chan mo. <laughs> Konna ni... Yakudatsu koto mo arun desu. So chicken chan, obviously referring to Kazooie. Uh, even, I guess, is this even chicken chan or or chicken chan also. Uh, this much Lee 
Yakudatsu is to like have a role to 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 stand up to be helpful to to stand to one's role which is very literal but yeah just to be helpful is probably the best translation but yeah yakudatsu koto i feel like this koto is like there there are points there are times when the ch when chicken chan also will be this helpful um and then aru is just like uh, like to exist. So yaku datsu koto mo arun des. So that yeah. So I think that is koto mo aru or koto ga aru uh, or koto wa aru even. It just means like yeah. The, the this this verb. There are times when this verb happens. So there are there are times there do exist times when chicken chan also is this helpful. Uh, yeah. Her ichi ichi iyami ne iyami. Okay, I am not sure. Ichi ichi. One by one separately. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. One by one, sure. Iyami. Oh. Gaudiness, disagreeableness, sarcasm. Hmm. Iyami ne. Sarcasm, gaudiness. Hmm. So I guess it's just maybe it's like. Like one after the other. Like kind of. Joking around. Like you, you, you. You kind of maybe saying like you never stop. You all, you've always you've always got something to say, haven't you? Kind of very unliterally. What that means, but I think that's kind of the vibe. Yeah, I think it's kind of like you just you just keep them coming, don't you? And then there again, just sort of rhetorically seeking agreement. And then tsuku wa yo. Um, I guess that just means. Like I will, I'll get ya. <laughs> Tsutsuku. To peck at. Yeah, to peck at. To poke, to nudge, to egg on, to put up to. But yeah, tsutsuku. Like, I guess, I guess that means I'll, I'll pick, I'll peck you. I'll peck your eyes out or something horrible like that. And then Meganek, just glasses boy again. So, yeah, I guess we'll get our, um honeycomb out of this and then we'll stop so yeah um uh yeah thanks for watching um if you liked this video you uh, then then like it please that'd be great uh sub if you want um and as as i keep saying i have a i have a patreon so you can hit that up if you want no problem if not but yeah that's that so uh yeah thanks for watching Hope it's been worth it and I'll see you next time.